Hello everybody, my name is Gary and um, I'm just posting a sound file to YouTube because I, I just feel more comfortable producing a sound file without um, watching me on the screen. So you can just go ahead and focus on my voice and I'd just like to say hello to everybody on YouTube and especially Angie Anything. I think she showed me, sort of inspired me to come on here and talk. And I've seen some topics about depression and rejection on YouTube. And I just want to talk about my experiences with it. I have a social anxiety disorder. And I have a fear of uh, social interaction. And my worst fear is uh, like being rejected by somebody if I'd come up to them and talk to them or something I'm very reluctant to be in a social social situation on Saturday I had to go to a wedding and um, I was going there I was thinking about what am I going to do with all those people there I have to talk to people and is this a social situation and I was anxious about it and then uh, on the way there I got lost sometimes I wonder if I subconsciously purposely got lost so I would be late showing up so I wouldn't have to be there um, as long but I got the wrong directions and um, I ended up getting lost the wedding was at a golf course and I ended up going to a, a golf course country club thing on the wrong side of town so I was like circling around and I was on the whole time I was on the wrong side of town I'm going in circles looking for this particular highway I was getting frustrated because I was lost but also I was thinking to myself oh what an excuse not to have to go to the wedding and go by all those people I could uh, say I got lost, but um, the person getting married was a good friend of mine, and it'd be kind of bad if I didn't show up. So I went to my sister's house and re-looked up the address of the wedding reception, and I finally figured out where I was supposed to go. I was supposed to be there for dinner at 6 p.m., but I ended up missing that because I was lost, so I ate supper at my sister's house. And then went up there almost 8 o'clock, and um, I wait so that dinner was over and the reception was starting. Then I finally make it to the reception place. And then I just look at the parking lot and it's all full of cars and I'm like, oh my god, there's just so many people here. I don't want to do this. And then I park and get out and start walking past all the cars and I see a huge crowd of people. And then I'm just like nervous and say, like, oh well, I'm going in. And then I look around at people and it's like, I'm not recognizing anybody and it's like, I just started getting a little bit more anxious and uncomfortable. And then I walked into the reception hall area and I finally saw some people I knew. I, then I thought, good, there's two people sitting at the bar that I knew really well and I could feel safe talking to them. So I went over by them and started talking to them. But then you only talk to them so long, and then I'm like, and they start talking to other people. And I'm standing there looking around the room, saying, oh my god, there's just so many people here. I don't know. What am I going to do? <laughs> and strange, there's just so many people, and then I just get all uptight and anxious. Then it's like it's, it's starting to get hot in there. And there were, because um, the room was packed, 
and they started clearing away tables and chairs because they were getting ready for the dancing part in the Grand March. So then there's like nowhere to sit and I'm just kind of looking around, well what am I going to do? And then, and then I seen my friend that who got married and then they talked to him a little bit and they told him about getting lost. But then that conversation was really brief, and then he went off back to the wedding party stuff, and was like working the room, talking to everybody. So then I was like just standing there, like, oh, what should I do now? And then, then they're like starting the grand march thing, and. Uh, I was near the door where they were lining up to come in the room and go to the dance floor and then it just got more and more crowded more and more people started pushing their way in there and it's just getting hotter hotter and hotter more and more people shoulder to shoulder and us just getting really uptight and it's like I not liking this and then they go through the Grand March thing and then they finally all walked through down to the dance floor so then the the music was blaring it was getting hotter and hotter in there getting more and more crowded and people just shoulder to shoulder and there's this crazy and then they talked to some people a little bit but then it just got to the point where it was really uncomfortable and then what uh, kind of just drove me to finally leave is that there is this it's another whole hour story I could talk about or there's this one girl that I don't like and they had problems with and then she shoved her way in there and started talking to the person I was talking to and then I was like I'm gonna leave now then it's like a part of me wanted to stay but then I just had to get out of there because it was just too crowded and then she was there I didn't like her I just had to get away from her right now so I zipped out the door and just kind of walked around at first I thought I was just going to go outside for a while and go back in. But then I just walked out to my car. And then I ended up leaving and started heading home. But I did leave the card and stuff. Or just so I showed up. But that's how it usually goes at parties and social situations or as an example that I don't like being there and I end up kind of like just taking off and leaving and it's like like a habit I have where I think oh I try to stay longer to the end but I end up when everyone else is talking amongst themselves and I'm just standing there myself that I just feel like I just want to leave and I slip out and go and then that goes back to that fear of rejection thing, like th they're not gonna like me, or whatever. They're gonna say something nasty, and then I, I start thinking low about myself, and then the depression, and then it turns into a vicious cycle, where um, it probably isn't that bad, but uh, when somebody does say something to me, I like multiply it and amplify it in my mind and I make it into a big horrible mess I'm running out of time so I'm going to wrap this up and then I'll post another uh, thing and continue this discussion uh, talk to you later